Hi everyone and welcome back to Vector Twist. I'm Simona and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an isometric milk carton. We're going to start from a sketch and then we're just going to use simple shapes and build it up and then we're going to add some color and some extras. Now before we start make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and new followers. And without further ado let's get started. So let's open up Illustrator and let's create a new document. This time I'm going to create a new document from a template. And I've created one of my isometric guide files already as a template. Now here's my document and my isometric grid is already ready to be used. So let me explain what steps I usually do. In my layers panel I have several layers. One with the guides, then one for the sketch, one simple and then one final layer and of course my color swatches. Now here we have the sketch, it's on the layer called sketch, so double click the sketch layer, select template and then dim the image to probably 20%. That will fade it really into the background and it won't be obstructing our lines. Then we'll click on the layer called simple and then we can color it in. So with the pen tool I'm going to follow along my isometric grid. I'm going to choose one of the lightest colors and the stroke is black. So just create your shapes. So one for the front, then one for the side. Next we're going to create the triangle shape. Now it's pretty easy because we have the isometric grid and the smart guides. We're going to create a smaller triangle that's going to be for our shadow. We're going to switch back to the lighter color and create the top part. Just make sure that you pick the proper color. Next the top part and then of course the pieces where we're going to place text later on and one for the front. And then we can turn off our isometric guides. And here's our simple milk carton. I'm going to alter the top shape by selecting both of the anchor points and then just making it a little smaller. Then I'm going to create a copy to the clipboard. Again, select my two anchor points. With the arrow keys on the keyboard, I'm moving it over to the right. I press and hold the shift key when I do that. Then I'll paste into the front my other shape, select both of the anchor points again, and then repeat the step, press and hold the shift key and move the pieces over to the left and maybe a little bit to the bottom. Then we want to create the shape for our milk spout. So I'm going to zoom in, turn back our isometric grid. All we have to do is create a circle. Then you're going to create a copy into the front, place it into the middle, maybe a little closer, and then we can color it in and add our text elements. So when you color in your elements, when you work with isometric designs, make sure that you pick your light source. In this case, our light source comes from the top left, so the left side and the top will be the lightest, the right side will be the darkest, and of course if you have any folds or anything overshadowing, these elements will be much darker. You can see how I'm coloring in right now. Right is getting darker, left is getting lighter, top parts even lighter, and so on. The last part here is going to be our spout for the milk carton. So it's going to be pretty light, and of course on the side it's going to be a little darker. And that's pretty much it. Now I just want to show you some tricks how you can get, add some definition to your designs. The first thing, let's select all of it, create a copy to the left, then with the shape builder unite everything together. Once that's done we're going to turn it into black and white, we're going to change the stroke again to be cap round and corner round and we're going to increase it to two points. And at the same time we also want to make sure that a line stroke is on the outside. Then we're going to be placing it behind our design and now we already have a better definition. Next we're going to add simple lines and strokes but we're going to make sure that we cut them into pieces. First we're going to lock the shape that we've just created. We do want to keep the fill but we're going to turn off the stroke. So make sure you turn off the stroke and then we're going to add our own stroke back but we're going to break it up a little bit so it looks more dynamic. Use the pen tool and then we're going to add our lines. Since we're working with the smart guides it's going to go along our shape so we don't even need to work with the isometric grid. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to add some extras. So one here, a small piece to the bottom. I'm going to have it end approximately in the middle and then a small piece on the side and then just another piece straight in the middle here. I think you get the idea. We're going to continue doing this with all of the rest of the shapes. And it doesn't even have to be quite complicated. Just break it up once in a while and then that's it. And then all we have to do, add the same thing to our spout. 
In this case, what we're going to do, we're going to create two copies. So select the shapes, create a copy into the front, turn off the fill, set the stroke to black, and then just make sure that this part is behind, and then you just want to cut it. So select it, use the scissors tool, and then cut maybe a small piece out, delete it, and that's pretty much it. Now all I'm going to show you is bringing in my isometric text, and then I'm going to show you how to turn that into the isometric sides that we need, one for the right, one for the left. So here are the two elements for my text. One is going to go on the right side, one's going to go on the left side. But before we're going to turn them into isometric objects, let's add them as symbols. So open up your symbols panel and then select the shapes and then click the plus sign. Give it a name right away so you know what it is and repeat the step with the other element and then click OK. Make sure that you keep it as a dynamic symbol. First, I'm going to open up my isometric actions. You remember I created this set for you to download. The link is in the description. I'm going to select the part for the front and then I'm going to click isometric left and then place it right onto my milk carton. Same I'm going to do with the other side. This time, of course, isometric right and place it on the right side. And here you have your isometric milk carton. As I said before, the symbols are dynamic. So for example, you need to change something. Double click it. It will open it up. Let's say it's not 100% anymore. Let's say it's 95%. Change it. Exit. And as you can see, it updated it on your milk carton as well. Of course, I want to have 100% organic milk. So let's undo this. And there we go. This way you can have elements on your isometric designs and change them dynamically just in case you have another idea you want to name it something different or create multiple variations out of your design. Now we're at the end of this tutorial. As usual, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell and I see you next time.